Assalamu alaikum and hello guys. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shaba. I am a second year medical student from Kabrak University and this is episode 8 of Be Productive. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you haven't watched previous episodes, links will be in the description box below. Today, inshallah, we're going to be talking about staying organized and yeah, let's get started. Bismillah. We evaporate so guys there's nothing fancy there's nothing beautiful there's nothing amazing about staying organized but here's the thing um being productive doesn't actually ad advocate for the fact of getting things done or isn't just getting things done but cumulatively getting things done and other factors considered such as the experiences we get from getting those things done and most of you if not all of you are going to agree with me that the experience becomes much more better when we do our work or when we do our studying our anything that gets us to be productive in an environment that is somehow clean tidy organized and this organization thing isn't just isn't going to help help you actually into getting things done but actually like it's going to going to help you to get things done in a much more efficient way and the experience you get from it will be so much like good amazing amazing generally so um here's the thing organization doesn't actually like seem to be in your environment alone you can environment is a key factor you need to uh, organize your environment and make sure like everything is like in place so that the working place becomes neat tidy and just workable you know um and then like you can organize yourself as in also internally you organize yourself in like your thoughts your reasoning and all that kind of stuff preparation and psychological preparation and also you can use this to add on to your physical organization things like let me give you guys an example um on your laptop if you're studying on a laptop or maybe your phone or maybe your laptop or maybe your your tablet or maybe your ipad or maybe anything that you're using to study actually like even not you just like if you organize the things in there the experience is going to become much more reasonable an experience that is going to be happy also you're going to be happy just getting along with whatever you're doing let me give you guys a real real example that has taken place in my life and when sometimes i sit with my friends when we're studying together and doing like group discussions some of them like check into my notes and say wow sheba's work is really like you can just just want to read sheba's work you just want to read through sheba's notes the reason is I'm not actually bragging, but I'm trying to say is that I organized my work and I put it in such a way that I enjoy doing it and somebody else also enjoys doing it, you know? So actually that is some sort of like the benefit you get from staying organized and please, if you've reached this far guys, please comment down below on what ways you use to stay organized and I'll be so happy to read through your comments and if you have any questions, please put them in the question comment section below and I'll be so glad to answer them. Um, thank you so much guys for watching and this is the end of episode 8 and thank you for sticking by and I love you guys so much. Ma'assalam and I'll see you guys in the next video. عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هلا بكم في قناة اليوتيوب مرحبا بكم اليوم إن شاء الله القسم ثمانية من المسلسل كن منتج وإن شاء الله سنتكلم عن staying organized إن شاء الله حقي بسم الله نبدأ